After going down 3-2 early in the AAA state championship to Bradley Central, the bats came alive for Farragut. Ryan McCarthy finds the gap, brings home Parker Noland, and Miles McFerrin sliding on it. <laughs> Top of the seventh, Ryan Hagano strikes out all three batters, and Farragut wins. What does that victory sound like? <laughs> Fair gets 10th title, and it's first since 2014. Yeah! When you're the hunted and you're the one that's supposed to do it, it's, it's still pretty hard to do it. And uh, these guys have led from wire to wire and everything they've done, and that's pretty special. For Coach Matt Buckner, it's a reminder of a good friend and an admiral, Scott Dean. It's been five years since we won a state title. Five years ago, Scott Dean died, and a pretty special friend of mine. and. Uh, you know, anytime I'm here, you know, I won my first two or three with him, and, uh, you know, I always think about him. You know, he's a pretty special part of my life, and uh, I always remember him. Let's go, Jeffco! Let's go, Jeffco! Now over at Jefferson County, after losing big in game one of the day, the Lady Patriots have battled back with a 2 nothing lead in game two. Top of the seventh, Jessica Odom gets the hit. Michaela Alvey slides home. Lady Pats up 3-0, and they win the first state softball title in team history. Just let them know that this was your last one, this was your last chance. In life, you don't always get two games. A massive upset over Siegel for a Jefferson County team often doubted, but never by the players in red, white, and blue. It, it really means a lot. Um, this was this is definitely a group to to go with. Um, I wouldn't I, I wouldn't expect it any other way, honestly. I All right, that'll do it for me. Let's check out the pitch. We'll send it on over to David Sheely with soccer. Thank you, Lewis. Four East Tennessee teams battled right here at the Seagull Soccer Complex for state championships. Early Friday afternoon, Greenville won their third straight state championship, taking down Sevier County. 2-1. to one. Immediately following that game, Gatlinburg Pittman battled private school Grace Christian Academy in the Class A final. The Highlanders couldn't hang with the admittedly fast, physical, and talented Lions. They really have no business being in the Division 1A small school, public school side. And two years ago, they made the choice to stay, and more power to them, but they have kids. It's the richest area in our state, in a private school at that. It's hard for us with a school of 580 kids to compete with them. I mean, you saw, I mean, we couldn't compete. In the main event, Bearden faced the defending Triple A champions, Station Camp Bison. Both teams scored a goal in regulation, so they went to extra periods. It took a while in real time, but I'll cut to the chase. It solved nothing. It took penalty kicks to decide a winner. Bearden made each of their shots, and with the help of the crossbar, they dethroned the Bison and won state for the fifth time. I don't like PKs. I don't think they're... You know, they're the greatest way to win or lose a game, but, um, you know, you, you just kind of walk away and pray and um, keep thanking God every, every minute and every second. That'll do it for Spring Fling 26 in Murfreesboro. I'll send it back to you in Knoxville. David, thank you very much, and we'll be right back.